Hey guys, welcome to part 5. Um, I'm back in the game room, I changed some light bulbs, trying to make it a little bit brighter. Uh, I, uh, I have my Resident Evil shirt on, I'm in the Resident Evil corner, so I'm trying to make it a little bit more horror oriented. Um, these, uh, some of these people I'm going to talk about in this episode um, are more, uh, more into Halloween than just doing a haunt. Um, and it's sort of like the theme that goes all along with these three, so I decided to put them all together to make sense. Um, first one is Hollywood Gothic. Um, has a website and a YouTube channel, um, both under Hollywood Gothic. Um, definitely, as always, look in the description for spellings and stuff, because sometimes my uh, pronunciation gets screwed up, even if I think about it before I do the video. Um, he has uh, been doing... A, uh, for like 16 years he's been a film critic and journalist and interviewer um, he does he lives in the uh, LA area and he does uh, interviews and reviews and stuff of basically anything Halloween horror sci-fi oriented movies coming out um, uh, plays I mean new rides at, at amusement parks uh, he'll go to hollow uh, Halloween Horror Nights and Knott's Berry Farm and stuff and do interviews with actors there's a ton of footage on his YouTube page from the last two years. Um, obviously the main reason why I picked him is because he uh, goes to people's haunts, like home haunts, on you know the week or two around Halloween and will do interviews with them and they're really well shot and great walkthrough videos of the haunts and I would not have uh, discovered a lot of the uh, Southern California haunts if it wasn't for him. Um, he, his name is Steve Biodrowski. Um, he has, uh, every time I go in, like, around Halloween time, he doesn't post as much now as I think he used to on YouTube. There's a handful of videos from, like, 2011, and then same thing with 2010. Um, but they're still really good quality. But every video that I can remember, I'm sure there may be a couple, I don't know, but, um, has an intro that just, it, I don't know, it's so simple, but it really kind of like, you know, grabs me, and I always remember it. And let me uh, show you real quick. It's just real short and simple. He does all the music for his episodes, and Katie's in the room looking at me. Whoa, what? <laughs> Did I film you by accident a little bit? <laughs> Oh well, Katie gets to be in this episode. Like. Uh, <coughs> but um, yeah, so he um, he does all the music, uh, and I, I, it's just simple and creepy, and it kind of reminds me of just old Halloween feel to it. Um, and uh, it's just great editing too. I mean, his all his videos are, are shot really, really well. His website um, currently has. Uh, like rev a couple different movie reviews up that he posted not too long ago. Um, one being for The Thing remake, uh, original Thing, my favorite movie. But um, this is his YouTube or his oh, sorry his website page, and uh, just really well put together. Also, um, very easy to navigate. I mean, obviously the guy, uh, it's his job, um, and he you can go to the site and read all about um, what's uh, companies and magazines and websites he's worked for um, and it's sort of like it's, he's definitely one of the inspirations of kind of why I'm doing something like this um, obviously his are shot better and on location and he knows semi-famous people and makes money off of it so you know exactly the same thing that I'm doing right now but um, <laughs> anyway uh, go check out uh, Hollywood Gothic, the YouTube channel, and the website. I'm sure you're going to find something um, on there that you haven't heard of before. Um, either Professional Haunted House or Yard Haunts or Home Haunt. So, check it out. The second one is going to be about a guy out of Canada, way up, way up north. Um, and over the last, like... I don't know, year or so, I've met on, you know, through YouTube and online a lot more Canadian haunters, but he was, I think, the first person that I ever knew that did uh, Halloween up in Canada. So, you know, not that I was ignorant and thought no one up there, you know, did Halloween in any sorts, but um, he was the first one that I can think of that, um, that I found. Um, 
His name is Kevin Jackal Johnson. He has a couple different YouTube pages. I'll get to sort of that in a second because it's kind of funny. But um, uh, if you go to Jackal Halloween on YouTube or JackalHalloween.com, um, both places have a bunch of info. The YouTube channel um, has 65 videos. Um, you kind of need to go back um, to like the second page and third page of, of videos to see a lot of the building um, videos. But uh, what he does is um, he kind of became famous, at least mildly famous, because a lot of those videos do have a lot of views. The, uh, the how-to builds and stuff for a haunted house. Um, he started doing you know how to build a haunted house, um, and there's I think there's at least two years worth like different seasons of tips and tricks and um, different uh, scaring uh, tips and how to design like a, a scare room in the center of a haunted house and um, a lot of cool ideas. He's a fun guy to watch. Um, he's pretty funny. He's very goofy, um, and I I just remember always uh he's a little raunchy too so it's it's just a a different feel than just your normal you know how to build a haunted house or something like that um he uh, also does like answer answers questions we'll do like q and a's where um uh, people can send in um questions to him and he'll answer those uh as for halloween stuff 4 months ago is the newest video that he's put up um on the uh youtube channel the last ones he was doing were um, Jackal Halloween fact video fact videos, um, which I think also might have been question related. But um, the uh, let me show you real quick. As always, this is you know the YouTube channel. Like I said, go back to about the second page or so to really see a lot of the walk or the uh, how tos, and then his website um, is is uh, very simple, very clean, nice, nice and neat to to look through. Um, he also does um, Halloween consultations, um, basically if uh, how to get you know more people through your haunts, advertising. Um, he uh, how to get you know free radio ads. So he has a lot of tips and tricks on on that aspect as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the uh, the other channel that I mentioned that he has is actually where I discovered him. Um, He's apparently had the website uh, for Jekyll Halloween up since 2008. I'm not sure um, if he was posted. I don't think he had the YouTube channel up that early. Um, but I found him at uh, testicles.ca on YouTube. And basically, it's uh, he had a lot of the Halloween content on there. And um, it was also mixed in with a lot of other like weird videos and raunchy and risque and whatever R word you want to use for it, but there's a lot of crazy shit on that channel, and um, he, uh, be warned if you go to the, that site, the testicles.ca on, on, uh, YouTube, um, because there is some, there's some, uh, cursing and stuff like that, so don't maybe look at that at work or with your, you know, five-year-old kid around or something, but, um, I th he moved everything from that site, it appears, from that YouTube page, over to the Jekyll Halloween YouTube page. So unless, you know, you just want to go check that out as well, um, you can. I'll put it down in the description so you can, you know, peek on over there. But um, tons and tons of, of information. And I even, like, you know, even if you've built haunted houses or, you you know, you feel that like you don't need to necessarily watch someone, it's really entertaining just to watch him... Uh, build and goof around um, and he does have a lot of good tips and he's very very thorough um, you're not going to uh, uh, miss out on anything because he definitely repeats things multiple times to drive it in um, really fun uh, go check it out it is Jackal Halloween on YouTube and JackalHalloween.com alright and the last part um, is going to be about a haunt and a company um, both under the same name uh, Rogues Hollow Productions is the company's name, and Rogues Hollow is the haunt. Um, and uh, this this one I came about I, uh, the haunt first is how I found it. Um, there's videos from I think 2009 through through the past year 2011. Um, 
absolutely professionally shot video. Um, I got, first I'm going to start off just by showing you the clip, just so you get the idea. It looks like the start of a good horror movie, like, just like the scrolling up of the huge house up on like a hill, and the cemetery out front. Just really, really great shots, and there's good um, still photos thrown in, um, and it's it's sort of like watching it's sort of like watching a three minutes um, intro to a horror movie. So that's how I originally found them. Um, then I realized I want to know what the production part was of you know of what they do. Um, they mainly create um, trailers, websites, and like commercials and stuff for haunted attractions. Um, you have probably or possibly have heard of them. They've done quite a few um, pretty decent sized haunted attractions. Uh, one of them I noticed was the Bates Hotel and, and Haunted Hayride, which Small World, one of my uh, my main partner from the prop company. Her family um, helped run that that haunted attraction. I believe that they do like the costumes. Um, they do some of the costumes and stuff like that for it, and they've done it for for years. So she always would go back up there um, during Halloween time and go help out at that haunted um, haunted attraction. So I thought that was pretty cool. But um, uh, even if you have heard of them, their um, YouTube videos for their haunted house at their house doesn't really have any many views. So. Um, I definitely, you know, wanted to uh, showcase that so you can see. It's, it's sort of a simple um, idea for a yard haunt. Um, it's mainly tombstones, fencing, pumpkins, and just, you know, nice creepy lighting. Um, but they do have a uh, Sam, um, you know, character stand of... Character stand? What the hell is that? A um, full-sized uh, character of Sam from Trick or Treat, the movie. Um, and it's just it just shot so well, obviously, because it's done by people that do commercials and, and uh, websites and stuff. Um, the uh, the creator of the haunt and the owner and runner of the company is Christopher Breyer Mayer. Probably wrong. Wouldn't be surprised in the pronunciation, but whatever. Um, they um, he's been doing uh, the design website design stuff of that for ten years. <coughs> um, there's also some Christmas, like, little video episodes up. Um, I think there's two parts to it. And they're more of, like, a little horror movie shot around Christmas time. And they're pretty creepy and, and kind of funny. Um, so check those out as well. Um, the website, which I had pulled up here also... Give me one second. Um, I like the front page. You know, really cool design and some graphics, but it says... Uh, we design websites and graphics for haunted attractions. We also make cool videos and take photos. <laughs> Just sort of a, a s simple, funny um, front page to their website. Um, but yeah, so go check them out. Like I said, it's Rogues Hollow Productions and um, Rogues Hollow on YouTube. And the spelling of it is not what you think, so obviously check down below. But um, I believe that is it for this episode. Um, it was a little more uh, how-to, businessy review type, not necessarily just focused on people that do yard haunts, but um, obviously since Jekyll Johnson um, does uh, how-to you know stuff of how to build a haunted house, he has a haunted house as well. So there are videos of you know nightly walkthroughs and stuff, and, and people going through it. So check that out on his uh, YouTube page as well. So I hope you enjoyed. I will talk to you guys later in episode 6. Peace out.